into the shark's container. You're doing it. There may be minor bleeding, bruising, or red mm -hmm. You yeah. You're gonna be pregnant soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think women with this over get pregnant easily. Okay, don't you worry. Awesome. Put this in my vagina. Wait. You right now that this video will be TMI. So if you're not a woman and or if you're not interested in you know learn hearing about stuff like this, I would suggest you exit right now. You can still like this video, <laughs> but I suggest you exit right now. The blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction I go the other up way I start to stutter when the speed Trying to stand on my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Hey y'all, it's your girl Tara Deshay. I'm back with another video. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning to my channel. Make sure that y'all like this video. And let's get into it. So in today's video, I'm going to be getting a little personal with you guys and tell y'all about my tell you guys about my fertility journey. I decided that I want to document this process and you know just like you know share my experiences because I feel like I'm not the only woman that goes through or have gone through you know having children. I you know read different comments and I've seen different things and you know I'm not the only one that has you know had trouble with conceiving so um <clears throat> i'm gonna start from the beginning and just to bring you guys up to speed on like you know what's what's happening right now and um the process on what to look forward to um in the next couple of videos about my fertility journey i want to start off by saying that um i decided to get on birth control um when i was in college for me and my um husband he was my boyfriend then we suggested that i get on birth control so i'm like okay cool you know I, we're both in school we're trying to graduate we don't need no oopsie babies or whatever so i got on birth control i tried the pill like a month and then i didn't like the pill i did just you know i just stay on the go too like if, you know i want to get on you know a more reliable um birth control and so they gave me the option to get a Mirena. and so that is when I started taking Mirena. I got on it in January 2016 and I stayed on the Mirena for seven years now I will say I had no issues with being on the Mirena. I didn't have a period I didn't you know I didn't have no any issues in the beginning let me say that I didn't have any issues with my birth control in the beginning now hitting that six year six and year seven on birth control is when i felt like like i i was more bitchy i was more moody like i like my mind fog was bad like i had anxiety really bad depression really bad like on you right now that this video will be tmi so if you're not a woman and or if you're not interested in you know learning hearing about stuff like this i would suggest you exit right now you can still like this video <laughs> but i suggest you exit right now i'm gonna get real candid with you babes okay i'm i'm, I'm gonna keep it transparent as i can with you guys like i said it might be somebody else going through experience and you know you just never know but like hitting year seven started spotting and i'm like okay is it a period and then like it wouldn't be like heavy enough for me to like wear a tampon but you know so i'm just like okay like i don't know if it's a period or like am i just spotting like i want to know you know when my cycle is coming on i want to know like what's going on in my body so i just had more and more questions and you know being on birth control what was going on i didn't know when my period would end when my period would start if the spotting was a period or not like i didn't know or if i was pregnant you know and i'm just like just so confused i'm just like i just want to know what's going on in my body so after me and hubby got married in august um i stayed on birth control 
up until December 2022 and I got off of birth control December 3rd of 2022 and it is currently um, November November 27th so I've been off birth control for about 11 months now so yeah that is what my experience was on birth control i didn't have any issues up until i was on it for seven years and i wanted to get it removed and i got it removed in december they did tell me that i can keep it in for up to like nine years but i was like no i want to know what's going on in my body i want my body to regulate again and you know like you know like i said i want to be able to like know what's going on with my body and you know if your body can't do that if it's being manipulated by birth control so <clears throat> You know, had to take the birth control out, and that's what I did. And so, yeah, I got um, a period, my first period after being on birth control for seven years. Uh, shortly after that, and then I had a second period. I had like a short period, like four days. I'm like, okay, you know, my girl back, she working, everything good, woo woo. And then like two weeks later, I had another period, and I'm just like okay well you know i haven't had one in seven years so like maybe she like you know gotta get back going gotta get that flow back going see up until like i want to say may ish may it's just so i had a, a normal period all the way up until may y'all <clears throat> y'all okay after his 30th birthday which was in april um, hopefully y'all went and checked that vlog if y'all didn't I'll put it in the description box of what we did for his 30th birthday But after his 30th birthday, we decided like, you know what? You know, let's start trying for a baby. So it wasn't like Purposely, you know doing things actively to make a baby before so like after his 30th birthday in May We're like, okay, like let's you know start trying so after then we started trying whatever and that's when I started You know just getting educated more on my body I honestly didn't know that you can only get pregnant like you know five days out of every month and you know i'm just thinking like girls just popping up pregnant like no you have to be having sexual intercourse within that you know fertility window or there's a no-go on a pregnancy so i learned you know i tried to learn my ovulation day and stuff like that i'm like okay so i just did it based off of like a period tracker i just got a regular period tracker and started tracking my ovulation so you know we do what we doing what we do and then you know time for the period come on period comes so i'm like okay not pregnant all right cool you know they say you know it, it don't happen on the first try so second month we try during that window again and again period comes on nothing happens so now it's august now it's august and um so i'm like okay i obviously need to do more research on what's going on with my body so i started doing ovulation tests ovulation predictor kit test or whatever and so i started doing that and i started noticing that like i didn't really like get a peak or anything like that so i'm like okay and then so they also was they i also learned that um your lh when you do it on the ovulation um predictor kit it doesn't always um determine if you ovulated or not so you should do ovulation predictor kits and track your basal body temperature uh your bbt with a thermometer so that's what i did i got a thermometer so i started doing both and um so after a while i noticed that like my temperature wouldn't rise when it was supposed to rise and like the second phase the lethal phase of um of like after you ovulate and so that kind of like worried me i'm just like okay so i'm not am i ovulating like because you know what's going on i'm not like getting pregnant like it's been like three months i decided to book an appointment with my OBGYN to go see what's going on because i you know like i said i experienced spotting and you know like i felt like i'm not ovulating so i went to see my OBGYN she did blood work on me and she checked to see like if i had any like um what she did like like anything on my lining in my 
vagina uterus i don't know she did that she did paps and like you know everything came out good everything out came out fine with my blood test i wasn't pregnant and after i left my OBGYN. I kid you not, I, did ha I didn't get a period for the next like 40 something days. I left my OBGYN and she was like, you should have, have started your period like by now. And I was like, well, no, I, I haven't. And so another 30 something days had went by and I did not get a period. So that cycle, after I left the OBGYN, I didn't get a period. That cycle was like 53 days okay 53 days from when i started my period and when i got my next period so i was literally like confused and that cycle was 10 days and i was like what the is going on my OBGYN told me everything was fine she did a blood test and everything she checked the coochie everything was good so like what is going on so i'm just like you know what screw it whatever happens happens so like i stopped doing the ovulation predictor kit test i stopped tracking my bbt i'm just like i'm not gonna stress about it everybody say you know just if you know it happens whenever you're not stressed by it. so i just stopped worried about it. i stopped checking my bbt because i feel like it was stressing me out i stopped checking my ovulation because i felt like it was tracking me out so i just let september do what it's do i have my 10 day period i you know <clears throat> we did what we did on um during my, that ovulation period nothing happened i got my next period um yeah i got another period in october yeah i got that period in september for 10 days and then i got another period in october for four days and then like i said i'm not pregnant and then so like, oh, it's going on like almost a year of us trying to conceive so i'm just like babe like we're getting older i'm 29 gonna be 30 next year so i want to make sure that everything is working properly so like let's see a fertility specialist so that was our next step because i didn't want to go back to the OBGYN because all they're going to do is send me to a fertility specialist because they specialize in fertility they specialize in getting you twin straight like cut the middle man out and went straight to the fertility specialist and so that's where we are now i appointment last monday and it didn't really do much that we just had it was pretty it felt like pretty much a consultation fertility plan set out for me so for my next cycle that is coming up in the next couple of days i have to go back to them and um well first first they gave they prescribed progesterone okay so i have to take this for the next 10 days i have to insert it into my vagina once a day at bedtime for 10 days to help with progesterone it's a lot being a woman okay well yeah so they they gave their prescribing progesterone so i have to take that for the next 10 days and then once my cycle starts in the next four or five days ish i will go back to see my doctor and he will check and make sure that like he'll do he's going to do some type of some type of sonogram monogram whatever gram instagram <laughs> some type of gram and then he's going to check my ovaries make sure everything's good i think he's going to check like the follicle growth and make sure like you know the egg quality and development is good and then he said the next step is going to be like mid-cycle right before i ovulate um i'm going to take like a s a h s c shot or s c s shot it's it's a shot to help with ovulation like to boost ovulation so once he, once I get that shot, me and hubby have to do our thing for the next three days, and then we wait, and that'll be my first um, cycle of. It's called Plumalod. So yeah, that'll be my first cycle of Plumalod. So um, yeah, that is where we are right now. Like I said, I got my prescription to take for the next ten days, my prescription to help with you know um, just everything that your body needs to produce and you know deal with child that's where i am right now guys so i'm gonna keep y'all updated 
me and my husband in your prayers and you know wishing us baby dust on our first child trying to conceive i want to say that i'm very glad and super 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 blessed that i have such a supportive partner who you know like acted instantly like you know as a woman you feel like childbirth is something you're supposed to be able to do naturally and you know when I feel like something is wrong with me my husband always reassures me that you know nothing is wrong with you it's fine you know you just got to give your body time like he always just reassuring me and just letting me know like it's not my fault and you know like you got to give your body time you know, I've been on birth control for a year so you know, I'm just really, really blessed that I have such a supportive partner and I cannot wait to experience parenthood, you know, with my husband. That is where I am in my fertility journey right now. Um, as of today, I will tell you guys, as of today, I am nine days DPO um, to keep up with my cycle right now. I'm nine days DPO as of today. Um, I took a pregnancy test this morning and I'm not pregnant so we're just going to continue on with the plan that our fertility doctor has for us and just pray for you know a successful pregnancy so yeah I am going to close this video out now and like I said, if you babes know anybody or if you're personally going through, you know, just some fertility issues, just know that your time is coming, our time is coming, you know, if, if you're wanting to be a mother, it's going to come. I know my time to be a mother is going to come, like, when it's supposed to happen. And, you know, I can't rush it because, you know, you can't rush a baby, you can't rush the process. It takes 10 months for the baby to get here, even when after you have conceived, you know. So, you don't just conceive, get pregnant, and then the baby comes the next day. So, it's all a process. We're all living the same life, but we go, we all have a different path and a different journey that we go on. And I feel like everybody's path to motherhood is different. So, you know, my my path to motherhood may not be look like yours. I might not look like a mother that had to get a surrogate or a mother that had to do IVF or, you know, or anyway, like all of our um, paths to motherhood will all be different. But it doesn't take away the, the fact that you still be a mother or you still are a mother so you know cheers to all us women that you know want to be mothers are mothers trying to be mothers you know cheers to you who have you know lost your babies in the process of wanting to you know bring life so I just you know send my heart out to you and I hope this video just really you know resonates with you and I hope that you know we can all get our bundle of joy one day so i'm sending baby dust to everybody i'm gonna head out because i gotta put this thing in my vagina later on today so i think i should take a shower and make sure it's a little fresh but um yeah because i got a hot date but um yeah let me get out of here um Make sure y'all check out my last videos, y'all, because I've been on my YouTube-ish, okay? I'm in my YouTube era, okay? I'm in my vlogging era, okay? I'm in my follow me, follow me, camera, follow me era, okay? So, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I love y'all. See y'all in the next. He said he's coming tomorrow. Yeah. He's dropping that off tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you're fertile. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on some medicine, okay? Okay, okay. We're going to check your tube.
Okay, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Everything else came back so good with the so love work? Okay. You're okay on your side now. Reach it straight for him, okay? Okay, perfect. Now, the best time to do the diet test will be next Monday. Can you do it next Monday? Next Monday, okay. Yes, ma'am. And I'll see you again on uh, on Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, I hope to see some nice response. Okay, this Wednesday? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, okay. Yeah. I hope that Santa Claus will visit you. Yeah. Here. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now, let's see here. Good. See, that's your over. You see all those black, black spots? Mm -hmm. That's good. Great. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, you're going to be back at soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can work with this over. You get back at easily. Okay, don't worry. Awesome. Okay. Let's make awesome. sure that you keep some good, okay? I'm so excited. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, both sides looks good. Okay. Okay, very good. Awesome. Okay, okay. Let me have your nose top. All right, y'all, today is December 18th. I said I say five o'clock. So my appointment for my HFG is today. And I'm a little nervous, but uh, we got this, all right? Yeah. Let's see, let's hope that we see a nice follicle now. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is, on the right. Okay, see that dark circle right there? Yes. Yeah, I want it to be 20, um, 18 or bigger, okay? So okay. see, we're measuring this, it's, it's 18 by 13, the right by two okay. that's and half, not quite there yet. Okay. Not quite there yet. Okay, not quite there yet. Okay, and that's on the right side. Oh, goodness, boy, you respond nicely. Okay. Here. Okay, there's another one right here. All right, 14 by, that's a 14 millimeter. And another one right here. Yeah. You're halfway there. Okay, this one is okay. more like a, a 13, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. All right, and a beautiful universe. Okay, now, okay, you think you can come back and see us on Saturday? On Saturday? Mm hmm Okay. I bet you on Saturday you may have two fall. Two fall. Discarded in here and close it. Right, 
know what you do with that. I guess it is. Do you send that back? Um, Hard to say. I can't, I can't just throw that in the regular trash can. Oh, examine before you feel scary and disposable. I can, throw, I can just throw that in. I think you can just throw it in. As long as it's in there. Huh? It doesn't say anywhere to dispose of it. So I guess as long as it's in here. It wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't too bad. It did pinch a little bit at first, but it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, I know it did at first. Were you nervous? Mm hmm You scared it's gonna hurt me? I was like, man, it don't seem like it's going in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it went in, but I was like, okay. Stop on the side For reason why